Good morning everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create perfect dispersion effect in Photoshop or maybe some of you prefer to call this effect just splatter effect. At first I have to duplicate my background layer to create perfect clean background. After I do this, it's time to cover our model. I use very simple method to do this without any complication, just go into select very simple part of my background, around half of my background, like this. Then I'm going to copy this part, layer via copy, and I'm going to move this part to cover my model. Okay, it all works perfectly and now we got this very clean, simple background. I'm going to create a group and put these two layers into one group and going to call this background. Control G to put everything into the group and I'm going to call the group background. After we finished, kind of preparing our background, we can take care about our model and after this maybe we'll be able to change color of our background. So let's go to our background layer, to our basic layer. I'm going to zoom this image maybe a little bit. And now it's time to select our model. In this case, in this Tutorial doing this effect the best method to select our model is just quick selection tool Do this quickly but carefully I don't want to make you bored so I'm trying to do this as quick as possible however, I have to be really careful Because I prefer to make edges really soft Okay, here is everything. Now just selection with her. With the hair we have to be really careful. Later we are going to do some work with roughing edge. To make our edges unfortunately. Small mistake, I have to fix this quickly. Okay, at the moment I think it looks kind of right. Nearly, nearly perfect. Don't forget about this area under arms here. Okay, right now it looks quite well. So after we finished our selection, it's time to rough in edge. Click select at first and then rough in edge. And paint really carefully all around the edges to make them look nice, natural and soft. As you can see, some parts of the background stick to the hair and of course it doesn't look well, for sure it doesn't look natural, as well it needs to look swell and natural. So just paint around the hair to fix the edges and as you can see this tool is doing a really great job with that, as you can see. It's just perfect tool. Maybe some of the areas uh, won't look the same as before, but still it's better than background sticky to uh, the model. Let's check other parts. Other parts all looks really fine. I clean the hair. I 
take care of the edges I believe some of you can do this better but as we don't have whole day for this tutorial I did as much as I could then after you finish just press ok our model is still selected so now click right layer via copy I'm going to pull this up I'm going to call this model 1 then I'm going to duplicate this layer once again duplicate layer model 2 all right so now let's go to our background and now I'm going to change the background color which is more suitable and have a little bit more contrast with this uh, green uniform of the model. I think the grey color is not really perfect for this kind of effect so I'm going to look for something in warm uh, colors, something like red or maybe yellow. Choose curves. I'm going to brighten this background a little bit then I'm going to change the RGB mode into red and let's warm this a little bit something like this it looks quite natural with this model we don't have this ugly edges still so as long we don't have horrible edges everything is fine and for sure we have much more contrast with this beautiful green uniform so now let's go to model to layer I called model number one create layer mask now model number two do the same create layer mask and the thing I'm going to do with layer I called model number one I'm going to transform this model a little bit I'm going to make her a little bit bigger and change her, in her shape a little bit maybe something like that of course have some control it has to still look quite natural maybe something like this <clears throat> after we finished apply this effect and after this click filter and liquefy I'm going to deform this model a little bit as I want to do some kind of explosion from the middle point of her body <clears throat> so explosion will be going from over here to the right side of the image <clears throat> from from the point of view so let's move this let's deform this into the right side just as I'm doing this deform this image it looks really horrible everyone has to agree it looks all horrible now but don't worry no one will see maybe something like this it's actually quite much right now should be okay press okay and take a look how it looks like now as I said before it looks horrible of course it's not our final result so don't worry we are just going to do some small explosion in this area so I'm going to invert this not this layer S step back click of course layer mask invert the color of layer mask and magic happened so I'm going to start with this model with copy of the model which actually looks really beautiful and now we're going to use some special brushes about the brushes I'm going to add some links into descriptions with really nice brushes find some brushes with explosion splatter it can be some painting brushes and every kind of brushes which you want to use in your dispersion effect as you can see I found this really nice uh, brush which is kind of splatter glass and I believe it's going to work really great with this 
image. So I'm going to place this somewhere here. As I said, that's the place of explosion. Just press one. Of course, nothing happened because it's wrong color. Black color on the white layer mask. And just press once. Okay, somewhere from here. I'm going to remove this hand. Looks horrible. A little bit. I don't want to destroy the face or knees, so I'm going to remove only this part. And if it's too much, you can always fix this. As you can see, we have layer mask, which is always helpful. So just change the brush, change size of the brush, and fix the areas you want to fix. It looks like I have problem with some basic okay as i said before i don't want to destroy face so as i don't want to remove the knees of the model so i'm going to clean a little bit here doesn't look well and i'm going to fix a little bit knees here so there we go I believe it looks quite okay now. Now click the layer called model one layer mask. Color white is already selected. Once again, our explosion brush, place this here. And I believe just one click of this do all the job. Of course, for me, it looks quite well. I don't need to do anything else because of this great. Um, brush I had to pleasure I had a pleasure to find if you are not happy with effect you can always remove some parts of of the image just change color into the black choose the soft round brush you can of course change the opacity and always you can remove some areas from the image if you not if you are not happy with the result just like this very simple thing to do and for now that would be all of course you can make some improvement of the contrast at the end some improvement of the colors find the effect the color effect you will be really happy about and then that would be all okay and of course as i said before we can improve this effect let's put the layer with model into the group Control g i'm going to call this group model Let's go inside and of course we can duplicate the layer which has number one, duplicate layer. And as you can see, our effect is a bit stronger, but in this area, it doesn't look so natural. So simply we can remove a little bit here uh, of the colors from the layer mask. And now it all looks really nice. Maybe a little bit of effect here. And there you go, that's the basic dispersion or splatter effect. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Leave comments about what you think about this tutorial, maybe some ideas for my future tutorials. Just leave some feedback. Thank you for watching and see you soon in another Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.